common question from Sage 50 users is, is how to reprint a form such as an invoice or a sales order or picking list from a, a closed year or uh, from people who restrict their users access to closed months um, then they have the same problem just trying to print a, a reprint a prior period transaction so let's talk a little bit about where this problem comes from um, right now I'm logged into this company as a user who does not is not allowed to edit prior month transactions so I'm going to open up an invoice and try to print it. Now, if this was a new invoice, you know you would all know that that printing it would cause uh, Sage 50 to to post it or save it at the same time it prints it. The problem is that even though we've not actually edited this, it's telling us we don't have access to edit transactions dated in a prior accounting period. You would get a similar message if it was from a closed year. Um, so even though we've not changed it, it still tries to resave or repost the transaction when we print it. And that's, that's where we get into trouble. So to work around that, you can use another method for uh, printing, reprinting a form. And this is the same way that you would batch print a transaction, or batch print forms like invoices. So if you go to the Reports and Forms menu, and then go to Forms, and then whatever type of form you want to print. I'm going to do an invoice here. Then you'll choose whatever invoice format you like to use. Click the Preview and Print button. And now you'll get some options. And these options will be a little bit different uh, depending on what kind of form you want to print. So I've chosen invoices because there's an option on here that confuses a lot of people. The first setting, uh, invoices to print email, unprinted invoices, or printed invoices. By unprinted, what it really means is invoices that do not have an invoice number assigned. Printed invoices are really invoices that do have an invoice number assigned. Um, if you're doing unprinted, then you've got a cutoff date you can use also. Since we want to reprint one, we're going to choose printed invoices. And then we're going to come down here and I want invoice 10203. So we're, we're going to make that both the first and last number in our range. You could also filter by customer ID um, or by customer type or forms delivery method. So you hit the refresh list button and you'll see a list of everything that matches your criteria. In our case, it's just the one invoice. Um, but if you had more in here, you could uncheck any that you don't want to print right now. Your print setup button, like always, tells you what printer it's going to go to or you could do an alignment. The email options is really important here. Um, a lot of times, because so many people email their their invoices to customers, they've gone through and set a forms delivery option or, pre or preference in, in maintain customers for emailing forms. You have the same thing on vendors if, if you're doing POs. Um, but what happens is that this method of reprinting uh, a form uses that, that uh, default delivery method option. So you may want to reprint an invoice, but the customer is set to uh, email as their default method. And so when you hit print here, it's really going to email it. So if you actually want it to print and not, and not use the default setting, you've got to change your action here to print only a paper copy. Um, you also have options of email only or print and email. But we're gonna, we want to do print only a paper copy. Then when we hit print email, you'll see it really does bring up the printer window um, and it doesn't, we don't end up with a PDF attached to an email. So you can hit OK and that invoice will print. Now if you do this routinely, um, for example, let's say if you generate a picking lists from sales orders and you don't allow your users to edit prior months for you know, obvious reasons, you may want a little more convenient way to get to that. Um, and you can do that by adding a shortcut. So here at the main Sage 50 window, you can click the customize link next to shortcuts. As that comes up here, then we can click the add a shortcut button, go down to forms, and then choose whatever kind of form you want. So let's say we want to do sales order picking lists. And you can use the move up, move down buttons to position it wherever you want in the list. You can also rename it. So maybe instead of saying sales or a picking list, we want to say print pick ticket. Then click OK. 
and it gets added to your list of shortcuts. Now you've just got a single click access um, to get to that print window. You still have to go through and set your, your filter parameters, um, but at least you've got a quicker way to get to that print window. So there you have it. I wish I could change it so that you could reprint directly from the data entry screens, um, but I can't do that, so at least I can show you a little bit more convenient way um, to be able to reprint those transactions in closed periods.